Hey everyone, it's Deja from CrochetEverAfter.com. Today's the newest motif of the month. It's May 2015 and we're making a pansy. So you can see kind of the classic pansy shape. I'm doing it all in yellow, but I'm going to tell you how you can switch this top part to purple if you want that kind of classic pansy look. So it's a really simple pattern. It's two rounds. I'm using some medium worsted weight yarn and a 5.5 millimeter USI hook. So download the pattern below and we'll get started. Okay, to get this pansy started, we're gonna create an open ring. So we're gonna do a slip knot for our hook. And then we're gonna chain four to create our ring. So it's always yarn over back to front. Turn your hook down to pull through, nice and easy. Again, yarn over back to front. Turn your hook, pull through, two more times. And then we're gonna join this up to make a ring. So we're gonna take our hook and put it in that very first chain we made. So anywhere in that first chain is fine. We're gonna cover it up with our next round. Hook through, yarn over, pull through that loop and pull through the loop on your hook. And now you've got your ring, big smushed up ring. So just grab the sides and pull it apart and you'll find the center hole there right in the middle. And then we're gonna begin round one. So for round one, we're gonna create the spots that the petals are going to go into. So the first thing we're gonna going to do is chain three. So this is gonna count, or I'm sorry, chain, chain four. The chain three is gonna count as a double crochet. The chain one is gonna count as a chain one. So it's gonna create this little turn for us. Then we're going to double crochet into our ring. So we're gonna yarn over before we insert our hook it's kind of hard to see where to insert your hook right here so just pull it apart and look for that hole so insert your hook through that hole then yarn over and pull up your loop yarn over pull through the first two yarn over back to front always and pull through the second two now we have kind of a little bit v stitch then we're going to chain one again and do the same thing another double crochet just move your tail out of the way you can weave that in at the end Pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Then we're going to chain one one more time, then we're going to do another double crochet. And this is going to change just slightly after this double crochet. We're going to do two chains. We're going to create the big petals of our pansy, and then one more double crochet, and one more chain two, and then we're going to join it up. So we're going to join, not at the very top, not the very fourth, not the very fourth, not the fourth chain from our beginning chain, but the third. So we're going to go one, two, three, so it's kind of like we're joining at the top of our double crochet. So we're going to pull through there and pull through there. And then we'll move on to round two. Okay, for round two, we're going to be working into these chain one and chain two spaces, so it makes it really easy to do our stitches. So the first thing we're going to do is chain one, and then inside of this next chain one space, we're going to do a bunch of stitches. So we're going to start with a single crochet, and then we're going to build them up to get some height. So we're going to do a half double crochet, so we yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Then we're going to do three double crochets. So all through and around the chain one. As you make them, you'll see that you're going to run out of space on your chain one. So you still have two more stitches to put in here. So after you make those three, just pull them over. You'll see that they slide so that you can get more room for the rest of your stitches. Then we're going to do a half double crochet to bring it back down. And keep your loops kind of nice and the same size as your shaft. Don't make them too loopy. That way you'll get a nice curve. So keep them all consistent and then you'll get that nice curve instead of getting kind of a lopsided petal. Then we're going to do the same thing in the next two spots. So we're going, we're not doing anything special between. We're just going right back and doing another single crochet, half double, three doubles, and then that half double and single, and we're going to do that in the next, this space in the next one.
And I just have my last single crochet. One thing you can do here before you move on to the top, so this is the bottom of your pansy and then you have your big two tops next, is to change color during this last stitch. So if you want to change to purple to give it kind of that classic pansy color, you can change instead of yarning over with the yellow, grab your purple and pull that through and then do the rest of the round in the purple. Um, the purple's kind of dark, it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to stick with the yellow so that you can actually see the stitches that I'm doing. But the next two are going to be the same um, instructions. So we're going to slip stitch into this next stitch. So we're going to get some height really fast. So first we're going to slip stitch. Then we're going to chain two to get some more height. Then we're going to double crochet, get a little bit more height. And now we're going to do five treble crochets. So we're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull through two at a time until you get to the end. Do four more of those. And now we're going to do a double crochet to bring it back down. A chain two, and then we're going to slip stitch just to make it even on both sides. And then again, so now you see we have that nice big petal here. Then we're going to do that same thing, slip stitch, chain two, double, five trebles, double, chain two, slip again. Just going to chain two at the end and slip stitch back in there. So since we're slip stitching to the round here, we don't need to join. It's already nice and slip stitched for us, so we just kind of fasten off. And then we just have those two ends to weave in. If you changed color during the purple, then you would have these two in purple that you would need to weave in. So here's one that's already with the ends woven in. So you can see because of how many stitches there are, it's kind of a 3D effect, which is kind of how that pansy, like the normal pansy, a real pansy looks. It kind of folds in on itself, so it has that effect. So these are cute for like appliques. Um, you could even use them between like a shawl if you're doing like a motif shawl and you need fillers because these are kind of small, they're not too large. Um, but pretty easy, nice and fast. You can make up these really fast. So if you have any questions about them, leave them below and thank you for watching.